Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR and World of Warcraft brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a gaming world far, far away? My friends, it's been a while, I know, I've been sick, and I'm hoping I don't have a coughing fit while recording this video. My friends, we have two major updates happening this week. One has actually officially been announced for 741 with Star Wars The Old Republic. In World of Warcraft, however, 1026 has not been officially the release date of it announced. However, I think that I'm pretty secure in knowing that'll be this Tuesday when it comes out, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So let's just get Star Wars The Old Republic out of the way, shall we? 7.4.1, the latest game update is coming our way on the 12th of March, so Tuesday it's coming. And with it is the uh, very popular right now, Date Night, where you get the date, the uh, Shadow of Revan uh, and uh, Knights of the uh, Eternal Throne and Empire uh, companions. You get to have your Date Night with them. I'm looking forward to have Date Night with Lana. And then we get the new seasonal track that's going to go out there. And with with a great, amazing new stronghold for Caparo. Looking forward to that. I might actually do the seasonal track this time because it's actually something I actually want. And Caparo is a beautiful planet and it's great. And there's other things coming along as well in 7.4.1, but hey, we're going to uh, have time. We're going to go into the date nights. We're going to see how that is, and don't worry. They're going to do more date nights down the road with the other companions as well. I know a lot of people in the comment section have been talking about that. Don't worry. You're going to have your vet uh, date night too, and all your fun there as well. When it comes to World of Warcraft, however, my, my, my first love, yes, uh, so 10.2.6, that's the pirate flag we saw on the, tw on the 2024 roadmap that World of Warcraft has put out. It's the mystery, right? Holly Longdale, I'm not going to mispronounce her name because I always mispronounce her name. Sorry, Holly. Uh, she has come out in the past couple of weeks pretty much saying, hey, listen, we're, this is a first for Blizzard. We are not going to tell you what's in this patch. In fact, we're not even going to put it on the PTR for you guys to test. It's going to be something new. It's going to be a surprise for everyone within the game. And from the consternation of everyone in the community, we kind of like this. And this is something we're not used to. Un unlike with Bioware back in the day and Broadsword and Star Wars The Old Republic, who's, who keeps things so tight like a freaking dolphin's butt, World of Warcraft, we're used to data, mi data mining ha coming out. We're used to all the information about what's going on. We're used to going up on the PTR. We're used to knowing what things are going to happen here and there. But this one, the pirate flag, They've let out some clues, right? So we had like the, uh, what was it, the, the Prime, uh, Prime Gaming, whatever, uh, Parrot with a pirate hat. We had that there. We've seen some pirate themes as well. So this might be pirate tea. Even though a while ago, one of the top dudes who's no longer there at Blizzard said, definitely not pirates. So it's like, okay, so it's pirates? What? But either way, it's coming. And how do I know it's coming on the 12th? Because... Everything else is coming on the 12th. But no, because World of Warcraft, uh, they announced going, hey guys, we're going to have an eight hour maintenance window for this. So yeah, that's just, it's going to be down for eight hours. It's going to be a long main, realm maintenance uh, for the game. So everyone enjoy your time in the sunlight and talking to people you haven't talked to before called your family. The only reason they would have, there is no other reason they would have such a long downtime is because it's 10.2.6. This is something I predicted I was going to do a video about, but then I got sick and I couldn't talk without coughing, and then my voice was horrible, and then I felt like crap. But this is something I was thinking about going like, if they are going this far with keeping this update so secretive and keeping all their cards close to the vest on this one, then why wouldn't they just why wouldn't they just launch it, let it go live without telling anyone? I think that would be a whole part of the process. And Holly did say that this is a learning curve for them as well. They're going to learn from this and see what happens. Hopefully, we're all going to enjoy it. I think it's going to be some giant event for us all to do. And I'm looking forward to getting in the game to do that. This is something I wish Sotor would do. Uh, but then again, like I was talking to someone a couple days ago, with, uh, talking about a video I'll be doing that they had the idea for is... Uh, Sotor's got 40 some odd de de developers, whereas World of Warcraft has hundreds, 500 plus developers on his team. So, and they have a, a far bigger piggy bank to delve into 
to to make and create content like they would with 10 to 6 and whereas so towards kind of just limping along doing his thing but hey we're still getting stuff we're getting date night so there's that but yes this tuesday cross my beard and hope not to cut it off we are getting 10.2.6 whatever this thing is going to be i'm looking forward to it and noble garden is just around the corner as well so hopefully they'll have uh that spring event uh, updated just like they had with the valentine's event they updated the whole thing i thought the extra uh quests on that were awesome and great and you know what sotor is getting a spring event which is coming near the end of spring beginning of summer and part of me is like why didn't you just launch it with 741 you know the beginning of spring to me, that would just make sense, but then again, it's SOTOR, and they do a lot of things that just don't make sense to us sometimes. But either way, big updates coming out this week for the, for fans of Star Wars The Old Republic and for fans in World of Warcraft. A lot of stuff is going on. Stay tuned, tuned to the channel, and I will talk more about this. We'll talk about date night. We'll talk about what the heck is going on with 1026. All the things, my friends. Stay tuned to this channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share it. Tell your friends comment in the comment section do all the things right there you know you know you want to so yeah leave that comment put it in the comment section let's keep the conversation going on down there what are you looking forward to most in seven four four one and if you're world of warcraft do you think it's going to happen on tuesday 10 to 6 what do you think it's going to be it's going to be pirates or are they really just going to screw with us on this one who knows make sure you hit the like button because the like button you know the more you hit it the more the algorithm likes the same with comments and hit the share button and the notification button and all that stuff and make sure you hit the freaking subscribe button come part of the family here at booming nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends ready to be kind is about community and don't forget to spay and neuter your murlocs and your wookies and we'll see you later my friends good day